Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. For those who don't know me, I'm Ariane and I'm a Mexican freelance illustrator. Today we're going to be looking into finding our own style. I know this is a very controversial topic on YouTube because a lot of people say uh, you don't necessarily find your style, you develop it as time passes and then some other people say here are certain steps to find your own style. Now I'm more of a person that believes that the answer to this question is in between is like a gray scale because in order to find elements from different artists that you like and incorporate them into your own original style you have to practice enough to be able to apply those abilities or resources into your art so yes it is a little bit about practicing and developing your art craft but it is also about finding what makes the art that you love unique and incorporating that into your own very own style now i don't personally consider i have a style i feel like it fluctuates a lot and sometimes some months i feel like i want to draw something that looks similar to manga and then some other months i'm like i need to paint and sculpt all of my digital paintings and it just fluctuates as well. And I also feel like even though it might not be helpful for social media, it is very important to experiment within those different styles because that's the only way you're really going to find what works for you. And you shouldn't also constrict yourself to just one way of drawing all the time because I feel like if we do that, it's kind of hard to progress and get better at art. So it is important to explore a lot. Uh, today, what I'm doing with this video is I'm trying to apply those theories that I have myself and those thoughts that I think are useful when developing a style into an actual drawing that I'm going to be showing you right here. So I chose four artists that I'm currently in love with on Instagram and some of them you probably might have, might, might have heard of and some others might be new to you. Uh, I'm sure everybody knows Loish, so she's definitely one of my great, greatest inspirations. Then there's Ken and Lafferty, which I feel like if you are into working on your art and getting better you probably know him his classes are amazing his live streams are so fun and his art style is incredible now this artist may not be as well known but she is just as amazing her name is valentina Riminear or something like that i'm probably butchering her name but you'll be able to see all the handles here on the video so don't worry if you want to find them you can definitely do so by just reading <laughs> what's on the screen and then finally there's sims.art their style is also incredible it's highly saturated with a lot of elements in their drawings but the color compositions are always so beautiful and just the composition in general of their art is amazing so i wanted to incorporate that as well finally you'll be able to see that i chose a color palette and a photo for inspiration slash reference and i'm creating this elf character uh, from my imagination as well as using the photo that you see right here and what what i'm doing here is i'm trying to grab or observe certain elements of each of these artists and just mixing them all together into one cohesive new and original style i feel like i i did something very similar to this with the video that i made about ethan becker and his challenge and that seemed to really work for me so I wanted to do something similar here as well and i do recommend you guys to do this and experiment you don't have to restrict yourself to just four artists or if you'd like you could do this several times until you find the mix of elements that really works for you for the style that you are seeking 
because it is of course important to have our own voice and our own elements that different differentiate us from the rest of all the artists in the internet and in the world but uh sometimes it's hard to just come up with that element by ourselves and sometimes if the right combination comes along we do something incredible <laughs> and if not we just keep practicing i don't think i'll ever be fully uh satisfied with my style because i'm always trying to get better and i always <laughs> unfortunately i do compare myself a lot to other artists which i know i shouldn't do but i try to use that drive the most in the most positive way that i can to try and make something good and professional and that just keeps me moving forward in my art journey so those are my rambly thoughts about finding your style this is obviously just a one exercise that you can do but i definitely recommend for you to keep practicing every day because it is very important to develop your skills before you, you develop a style. Because if you don't develop your skills and you try to find a style, you might not learn the basics that are very important before creating something stylized. And then you'll just like trap yourself in a box and you'll never be able to come out of it and do something different or more complicated in the future which is something that I'm sure nobody wants to have happen to them. So yeah, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope that you liked the way my elf turned out. I think she looks really cute. And um, as you can tell, this video was not scripted, but uh, I do want to remind you all that uh, I have a Patreon and in my Patreon, I'm sharing a lot of sketches and sharing a lot of behind the scenes content that I don't share anywhere else on social media. And if you guys want to support me there, please feel free to do so. But if you can't, that's all right. Just by watching my videos and liking them, you're really supporting me. And I also wanted to remind everybody that when I reach the goal of $50 on my Patreon, I'm going to be sending everybody from Patreon a sticker, which I'm really excited to do very soon. Hopefully we'll get to that goal soon and you'll be able to get your very own sticker. All right, guys, well, I'll leave you with that for today and I'll see you on the next one. Well, this is my outro, outro, out, out, outro. This is my outro, and I'm supposed to tell you to subscribe to my channel, and you can choose to ignore this. Oh, and also, you can, you can uh, like and comment and stalk me and support me on Patreon. Yeah, that's all that it says here.